and are following the increased rates of sexual gender-based violence ravaging communities in Kaduna and Zamfara State, Northwest Nigeria. 30 women have been trained on gender sensitivity and safeguarding the boy child from abuse as well as feminine gender across the state. Against this major concern, international alerts with the support of United Kingdom, UK aid say the aim is to stabilize and end gender-based violence. They said more than 20% of male children have been abused sexually, noting that their silence has impacted negatively, hence the need for both genders to speak out for justice. Build the capacity of our women fight against sexual and gender-based violence in the community, focusing on the male gender too, because when we are always focusing on one, we are not going to achieve the good result. So what this capacity we are building for our women is to go back to the community and do a step, step down training for our participants and other community members. My take home is to create awareness, especially in the, among the men, because when you always speak about gender-based violence, everybody will always focus on female. So by the reason of this workshop today, we we'll go back home and you know, sensitize the men that they have the right to speak up and the law will fight for them. They don't need to die in silence. So I now learn more. We want to go and find out what is the problem that caused. I now know how to start, and I know how to overcome the situation. I know how to share it. I have to share it with others, with others, my colleagues, because they may, they may have idea more than me. So I learned so many things. I'm very happy with the network. Chairperson of Women for Peace Network, Wopan, Laura Bemu, says more attention has been given to female child in the fight of sexual gender-based violence, adding that the boy child must be given priority. A lot of male child have been abused sexually and they've bottled it up simply because from childhood the male have been told to behave like a man and not to cry out. In as much as they are being molested, they keep quiet. They keep quiet and they don't speak up. To go and do a lot of sensitization, especially to the male child, so that they will be able to speak out whenever anything that is not, um, whenever something wrong is being done to them, so that they will be able to report immediately to their parent and not allow um, close people to take advantage of them. The girl child too. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.